200 farmers uh, unions prepare for their Delhi Chalo March, which is all set to take place tomorrow on the 13th of February. Delhi Police has imposed Section 144 is expected around 15,000 to 20,000 farmers to reach Delhi. Security has also been stepped up at various borders, including the Singhu, Tikri and Ghazipur borders. Haryana government has in fact suspended mobile services in seven districts and also imposed Section 144 in 15 districts as well. Well, is this truly a farmer's protest or mere politics is the big question. Remember, obviously, uh, restrictions of movement, traffic bottlenecks are what lies in store now for Delhiites. MSPs, remember, remain at record levels. Bharat Tatans have also been awarded to advocates of farmers. Uh, then what explains this protest is something we're going to be looking at. Joining us at this point is Ellen Rao, former DCP Special Cell. Also with us is Akash Shindal, Senior Economist. Joyita Basu, editor of The Sunday Guardian, also joins us live. Let me uh, begin with you first, Ellen Rao. What uh, precautions have been undertaken already ahead of this mega protest and what else is needed to be done in the next 24 to 36 hours? Yes, uh, Uday, this is a very crucial uh, stage uh, when these farmers have again uh, gathered and joined for the protest and that, that protest mm -hmm. we have already seen uh, uh, on, during the past few years. Uh, complete more than one year they were uh, holding the roads and the, the, there was a big problem for the commuters uh, coming into and going out of the country uh, capital. Now, the police has made all arrangements because the police has to uh, uh, um, obey, uh, obey the um, uh, law and order situation and they have to do their duty as per law. And um, uh, whatever is uh, 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 important uh, to make law and order situation better, they will definitely do it for that purpose. Uh, firstly, they will have collect, a, uh, they will uh, uh, deploy their intelligence network to, uh, to be activated and they will... Uh, definitely um, in, infiltrate uh, some of our uh, intelligence officers within the uh, uh, gathering of the farmers and they will come out what are what is their planning and what is what they want to do that's the most important aspect of the policing that uh, their uh, beforehand information about the activities of the uh, protesters and agitators that should be known to the police so that police can make appropriate arrangement accordingly Secondly, when there is uh, any uh, uh, fear of violence to be taken place, at that time the police has to take firm action, whatever is required as per law. And, and um, uh, so far as the, um, uh, the agitation and demands of these farmers is there, that is uh, depending upon their, uh, um, uh, the correctness of demand and the, the government, whether they, they want to uh, have some dialogue with them or not, that is second thing, that is between the farmers and the government. Police is just to uh, uh, ju ju just on the fields there to maintain land order. There should not be any problem. There should not be any loss to the property, loss to the life, and the, no, nobody should be uh, taken a law in their hands. That's why the police has also informed the uh, agitators that uh, they should, uh, if they want to do some protest, they should do it uh, peacefully. And uh, before because of that, that uh, in one fifty uh, in fifteen districts of the state that um, 144 has been imposed. Uh, that means that uh, not more than five people will can, can gather at one point of public place. So that is also to be implemented by the administrative authorities of the concerned state. And in Delhi also, at the borders, police is very alert and they are taking care of and they are checking all the vehicles so that there should not be any, any uh, misunderstanding to any person. And uh, that the checking is at full, uh, full swing and the Delhi police officials have been briefed properly. There should not be any illegal act against the agitators and the farmers, so that they, that should not in, in, uh, um, uh, instigate, they should not be instigated for any violence. That is most important uh, aspect of this thing, that in the past we have seen that some, some um, uh, instigation by some miscreants within the crowd, they created huge uh, violence among the uh, uh, farmers and the police. That that should uh, that should be curtailed and that should not happen. That should not be repeated here in, during this period. So the police is uh, taking all uh, precautions and they are uh, prepared for all uh, consequences out of this uh, agitation, proposed agitation. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me, uh, in fact, take that across to uh, Akash Jindal as well. Akash Jindal, now if we talk about uh, this MSP law, is there any merit to what the farmers are demanding? Is there any merit to uh, this latest protest uh, that is all set to uh, begin from tomorrow? Wonderful question, Udek. Prior to that, allow me to say something. My request to our government, who is doing 
wonderfully well, who has uh, done so good things for our economy, for our country, is please reach out. Please communicate. Reach out, communicate. I think everything would be sorted out. Now, uh, everybody who views me on different channels, they know Akash Indal as a senior economist. But I'm a Punjab farmer also. So let me tell you the other side of the story also. Now, what happened? Farm laws, me and you discussed them many times. They were wonderful farm laws. Farm laws were so good that ultimately what they meant was a good cash flow for my colleague farmers in Punjab. And since the way uh, agriculture was done in 60s and 70s, now it should be changed. So they meant uh, much more better income for them. Uh, and a better future but the problem was the problem between farmers and the government is there are three problems that is miscommunication number two miscommunication number three miscommunication that's the root cause now this current bjp government is doing wonderfully well things for the economy 99 out of 100 things they have done so well uh, they have made our economy the fastest growing economy amongst major economies in the world they have made our economy fifth largest economy we are about to be the third biggest economy and also they have been done they have been doing so many wonderful things for our agriculturist brothers but i think there's a communication gap there's a miscommunication what happened was when the farm laws was passed i repeatedly requested bjp who is doing wonderful things to the economy wonderful things for everybody please reach out to the farmers had somebody from bjp reached out to the farmers in their villages sat with them in the villages spoken to them in their language which is in punjabi i'm talking about punjab farmers things would have been sorted out still my appeal my request on your platform which is widely watched and government people also have a lot of respect for your platform is please reach out to them then nothing is going to happen i would request the central government ministers when the farmers are in punjab they should go and meet the farmers talk to them and things can be very easily very easily sorted out they need to be told how good things the government is doing what the government proposes for them and also there's one more very important thing 60s and 70s the agriculture used to be in a way now in 2024 there needs to be certain change in agriculture so that ultimately which is going to benefit our farmers which is going to increase their income because this government wants to double their income but these things need to be communicated. These things need to be told to them in a proper manner. They need to be sold all these things. That is something which is required. Now, BJP, this government is doing everything so well. It has done uh, so good things for our poor brothers and sisters also. 24 crore 80 lakh people have been taken out of multidimensional poverty index, which means now they are getting facilities for their health, education, infrastructure, standard of living. And uh, we, we all know, my, my personal view is, BJP is going to win 400 seats this Lok Sabha. So my, my, my proposal to the central government and BJP is, please reach out to them. Please communicate to them in Punjab itself. So there was a nice thing in Munna Bhai MBBS, Jadu Ki Jabhi. I think that is required. Then everything would be sorted out. Everything we sorted out. Delhi Police, I have respect, high respect for Delhi Police and uh, people like Rao Saab, who has been putting all efforts to maintain peace and security for people like me and you. They have already done so much work on 26 January. They also need a, a bit of relief. So I, I think if the government reaches out to the farmers, 99% of the issue can be sorted out. Communication gap should be filled in. And then economy will also move. Farmers will also keep on producing are and they are our andatas. We have respect for them, for the country, and uh, there wouldn't be any problem in the city also. So I, my my request with folded hands to the government is, please reach out, please communicate, please talk, please have a dialogue, and things would be sorted. Okay, uh, Joyita Basu, let me uh, take that across to you. Joyita, what is prompting these protests, uh, and uh, do you believe that they are connected with the upcoming Lok Sabha elections? Uh, Uday, this has nothing to do with farmers. This has nothing, this has zero to do with farmers. It's all about politics and politics and nothing else but politics. You know, what is it that suddenly out of the, and why is it that Uday explained to me, why is it always the farmers of Punjab have a problem? 
no other uh, province has any problem like that why is it always the opposition to the farm laws also is coming from punjab i mean why is it that you know this is a this is all part of a toolkit that is being activated to basically ensure the positive narrative that is there in the country you know because of several developments so that gets again diverted to some sort of an anarchic movement which this particular so called farmers movement has come to symbolize the anarchy the chaos if you remember what has what these farmers so called farmers what they were doing in delhi they were running amok in delhi with open swords hitting policemen and desecrating the red fort these are the same people who are coming back i mean they are not farmers they are hooligans they are gundas and that is how they should be treated they should not be allowed to enter anywhere in delhi they are not going to have their uh, pizza parlors and discotheques uh, set up on the border of delhi and make everybody's life miserable they are not going they are again proving to be a hindrance to the country's progress and development these people should not be allowed to come anywhere near delhi all that they want is to vitiate the atmosphere and that is why they are coming and ahead of the lok sabha elections their whole intention is suspect okay and think of it like this their agitation this time is not even going to spread to certain parts of western parts of up because all that agitation that happened for one year it was ahead of the uttar pradesh elections okay they were hoping to uh, basically have an impact on punjab elections and uttar pradesh in uttar pradesh they had zero impact and the punjab it's a different matter punjab of course uh, the, yeah, i don't know whether the, the government change etc that happened whether it was because of the farm agitation or not but the fact of the matter is that these people want everything in free okay and they, everybody else will pay taxes and they, they will you know have to kind of prove to be uh, responsible citizens of this country but these people are the most irresponsible without any accountability they are again trying to mess up people's lives they are trying to vitiate that atmosphere and it has nothing to do with but politics and this time these so called farmers a section of farmers from punjab are the only people who will be part of it no one else it is this it has zero impact in up if it was you know a tiny bit of uh, indian farming community and population in the first agitation that they carried out in 2021 one year long this time it's going to be minuscule these people should not be allowed to come anywhere near delhi okay so uh, that's something that obviously uh, the the authority should crack down upon is what you're clearly saying joyta do you also believe that this is uh, perhaps something that is more political akash uh, and uh, and uh, you know less about uh, agrarian policy and about uh, uh, agrarian issues see i think what what happens is any movement which takes place in india some amount of politics is always there some amount of politics is always there in any movement but uh, beyond that we have to understand certain things also now uh what i told you when the farm laws were implemented did anybody from the central government or bjp which has been doing wonderful things for the country reach out communicate i think this miscommunication also now i i i tell you i am also a punjab farmer now what i heard from my friends and colleagues were when farm laws were passed that sarkar sudhi zameen lena chahundi hai what it means in english is that the government wants to take away your land but i think proper communication was needed the farmers needed to be told that these farm laws can actually increase your income they can actually get you cash flows which would mean that you don't have to borrow my 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 friend my friend seems to be <laughs> very no, very very angry sounds of talks that the government had with these farmers jo, 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 you are not speaking the truth the fact of the matter is that the government had several rounds of discussions and these people were hell bent on destroying the farm laws and nothing more just because you are a farmer in punjab does not mean you have the right to peddle permission information it's not it's not don't be that angry don't be that angry don't don't lose your cool you are a friend jyota don't don't do that now now what i what the But the don't, peddle, don't speak just, just, you are gundas these people are 
I'll, I'll allow me to speak. I'll, I'll allow me to speak. At least you know me. I, I, I am not the one for, for which you are using this term. So please, 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 please allow me to speak. Now, what happened was, yes, the government had meetings with the agricultural leaders. Now, what I am talking about is one-to-one -one meetings with the agriculturists. This is what I am saying, that after the farm laws, what was required was, and I have been repeatedly requesting at various uh, news channels, which I have been there, that BJP and the government should have reached out. They should have gone to the villages of Punjab, sat with them, had chai and lassi with them, communicated to them in the language which they understand, answered their questions. That would have been a much, much better way. Because I, I think now also, my request is if a dialogue happens within Punjab itself, we would be we would be much, much far away from creating such a situation. Nobody wants such a situation. But how, how to tackle it? Do we tackle it with force or do we tackle it with dialogue? So according to me, dialogue and communication and friendly <laughs> communication is the best way to deal with this. This is what my view is. Jota, your response. Jota. I think, I think talks are already <laughs> being held. Okay, first of all, talks are already being held. And sorry to say, for one whole year, as a person who lives in D Delhi NCR, these farmers, we have encountered what these farmers are capable of. They made our lives miserable. Our daily commute became a torture. They desecrated our monuments. They went around, they beat up women, they misbehaved with women police officers. Sorry, they were basically holding pizza parties and um, disco, you know, for disco, whatever they were dancing. Uh, they had set up nightclubs along that uh, border route by making the Delhi residents' lives miserable. So if I feel strongly about it, Sorry, I don't, I don't, I will not be apologetic for this. We have encountered what these people are. There is a way on means of protesting. What guarantee are they giving us that they will protest for one day and go back after that in a normal, calm manner? What if they again decide to make our lives miserable? Okay, these people cannot be trusted. They should not be allowed to come anywhere near uh, uh, Delhi, their whole purpose, trust me, is to ensure that such a breakdown of law and order happens that the police is forced to use live f bullets and there is bloodshed. That is what they are aiming for. They want propaganda. They want chaos. This is polit politics and nothing except for, uh, for politics. Okay. Uh, 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 is that something? Yes, yes. Quickly, Akash, and then I'll get an Ellen Rao. See, what I'm saying is, and what I want to communicate to my dear friend Joeta is, that yes, hmm. I'm not saying that they should be allowed to come to Delhi. But how do we stop them? In case we can step them by dialogue. She's asking for some guarantee. Now, in case some dialogue happens, and then after dialogues, they, after dialogue, they decide to return back. Then what's the problem? What's the problem in reaching out? So my request here is that the central government ministers must reach out to them. They can reach out to them while they are in Punjab. So rather than using force to block them entering Haryana or Delhi, if meetings can be held in Punjab itself, if talks can happen there, if they could be explained, if they could be persuaded, about the government, the various government effort, because government has come out with very nice scheme for our kisans, for our anudatas. If they, if they are just communicated those things in that language, and if their grievances are listened, and things can be, I mean, uh, things can, things can be sort of sorted out by a dialogue. Shouldn't we initially try a dialogue? So I think the first attempt, definitely by all means, and I reiterate it and I stand for it, should be dialogue. And if that dialogue can happen within Punjab, that would be the most wonderful thing. Dialogue is something which should happen. So I, 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 I'm 100% there for a dialogue. And that also, again, I would request central government 
that if the dialogue can happen in Punjab, that would be the most wonderful thing for everybody. Uh, is is the De you know Delhi police prepared? Uh, there will be attempts to s uh, spiral the situation. There will be attempts at violence. Violence. Joyita says that obviously the vested elements want confrontation. Uh, how will we prevent that, Alinra? Yes, uh, well, that, the Delhi police is definitely prepared for uh, every eventuality, and uh, we will. Uh, we are definitely firm in our action and decisions. No doubt that uh, we we cannot uh, uh, allow any anyone to uh, hold ramp uh, rampant uh, for any uh, 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 harassment to the general public. And uh, one more thing, I want to say that we are living in a democratic country, and everybody has a um, um, has a right to uh, demonstrate uh, democ democ uh, democratically, and peaceful demonstrations are allowed in our constitution. And I do respect with Joyita ji that she definitely is um, uh, very much uh, annoyed with these people. That, that, that is that is a reason because the public is held ransom by these people. But at the same time, saying them Gunda is also not correct word. And I, I uh, uh, a little bit agree with uh, uh, Mr. Akash that only dialogue can be solve this problem. Definitely, we all know that it's a problem. But now the, we have to find out what is this way out of this problem. We have to solve this problem. I have seen in my um, tenure of uh, service as Delhi police, we have faced so many great, great problems and that could be solved only with the dialogues and no doubt that uh, the leaders have talked to the government various times, definitely, and they, 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 they want to have some of their own selfish motives. But at the same time, the ground level uh, Kisan should be reached out by the local representatives of yes. the government. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They, they should, they should yes. be convinced these uh, these farm laws and other things are very important and beneficial for them. And yes, an yes, the, yes. Uh, the ground level people are not convinced that uh, they may they may be misguided. And you must be thinking that the Punjab are only doing that. This uh, Haryana is not uh, doing all these things be only because of Punjab. That that speaks of the volume of the politicized of this uh, agitation movement of the Kisan. So uh, our government should uh, increase their, uh, their their intelligence and network. Again, I'm emphasizing on that. The intelligence network on the ground level itself and the people should be uh, briefed about the benefits which are being given by the government so that the people must know what, what benefits can be done by the government so, uh, so that they may be pacified. And they should also be told that they should not be misguided by any political uh, people. Uh, they may be having some, their vested interest, the, the, these Kisan leaders, also they, have, they may be having some vested interest. So they should not be misguided by them and think their wise, uh, the, the think about uh, their benefits from their wise mind, not by misguided by anyone else. Uday. Can I make a quick point, Uday? Yes, yes, Joyita. Yeah, I mean, uh, from whatever the videos we are seeing that are coming from, you know, that the Punjab, uh, Haryana border, these people are already breaking down the barricades that have been put up. They are using their tractors. They are already creating mayhem. So who are they? If not gundas? No, I do not regret the use of the word gundas. If you behave like hooligans, you will be called a hooligan. Uh, nobody has. Uh, there is no reason why we should be polite about it. Right. May I, 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 am, I am firm about it also because the, the police should take action against those people who are taking law in their hands. This is the duty of the police to stop this non uh, uh, this nonsense, and law and order situation should be maintained by the police. This is first and prime duty of police to maintain it. By All right. Any, okay. so, oh, 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 they allow it to come. All right. In. I'm going to have to leave it at that. Yes. Just yes. Second. Quickly, thirty seconds. Uh, what I want to communicate: there was a very beautiful Hindi movie, "Hum Saath Saath Hai." This is what I want from the government and the farmers. If there can be a handshake, if there can be a dosti, that would be the best thing. Okay. Um, saat, saat hai is something which is required for this economy, for this country, and this can definitely happen. Dosti se, or dosti or dialogue se, okay. jo baat ho sakti okay. hai, uska koi jawab nahi. All right, we'll be tracking this story very, very closely for the time being. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us on this discussion. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.